Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. So in today's video, we will understand how to set up webhook and cite paper form. So webhook acts as a bridge to connect applications and it helps to deliver the data to other applications as an event happens. So in this video, I'm going to tell you step by step that how you can set up webhook inside paper form so that every time you're going to receive a new form submission, then you can send the data to other applications as this event will take place. So paper form is an online form builder and form creator. And by using paper form, I have created this form. So here my objective is that whenever I'm going to receive a form submission, then I want to send the data to other applications. But in order to do that, firstly, we are going to capture the data in Pabli Connect and then we are going to send the data to our desired applications. So now I'm going to build the setup. So I will go to my trigger window and over here, I'm going to search for paper form as my trigger application. Here it is. And the trigger event will be new form submission. So this trigger will start working whenever a new form submission will be done. So I'm going to select it. So here you can see that a webhook URL is given and along with that a help desk is given. So read this help desk given below carefully because this webhook URL is going to act as a bridge to connect paper form with Pabli Connect. So now I'm going to take you to my paper form account. This here is my paper form account and I've created this form by the name of real estate seller leads template. So I'm going to show you this form. So you can see that now I'm in edit mode and this here is my form which I've created in order to get the leads. So here you can see that these are the questions which I've asked in this form. So my objective is that whenever I'm going to receive a new form submission, then I want to send the details to Pabli Connect. So now in order to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a connection between this paper form and Pabli Connect. So to do that, I need to go to after submission and over here, I need to go to integrations and webhook. So over here, I will go to webhooks and in webhooks, I'm going to add the webhook which is given in Pabli Connect. So in order to build a connection, this webhook URL is going to act as a bridge. That is why I'm just going to copy this webhook URL. And over here, I'm going to paste this webhook URL in this new webhook field. So once I've done that, now I'm going to click on create. And over here, you can see that a webhook has been added successfully in this paper form. Now I've ensured that the connection has been made and now whenever I'm going to receive a new form submission, then automatically the response will be sent to Pabli Connect. So now moving ahead, as you can see that our form is saved successfully, that means the connection which we have made is successfully saved. So now I'm going to click on share and now I'm going to click on social and URL. And over here, I'm just going to copy this link and I'm going to open it in a new tab. So here you can see that the form has opened successfully. So here in Pabli Connect as well, you can see it is waiting for webhook response. That means now I need to do a test submission or record so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response. So in order to do a test submission, I'm going to fill in this form and I'm going to submit it. So here let's say the first name is demo. The last name is dummy. Here I'm going to mention the address that will be 123 Gucci Road. So now moving to this question that is, do you currently own this property? That is of yes. Now I'm going to mention the details. So here I'm going to mention the email address. Now moving ahead. So here for the evaluation type, I'm going to make it a person. So now I'm going to submit. So here it says submission successful. Thanks, we have received your submission. That means the form submission which I've just made is successfully done and the response of this form submission would have been captured in Pabli Connect. So now I'm going to take it to Pabli Connect. And yes, over here, just now I have received the response and over here in the response, I have got the details. So here you can see that this here is the submission ID and you can see the form ID as well. So scrolling down here, you can see the email that was demo dummy at the pablitudes.com. Over here, you can see the address details and you can also see the answers to the questions that were asked in the form. Over here, you can see the first name and the last name and here is the created date and time. So over here, that means I've successfully got the form response over here. 
that means now whenever a new form submission will be made through paper form then automatically the response of that form submission will be captured in pably connect so this trigger will instantly capture the new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time so as i've got the form response over here in pably connect now by clicking on this action step i can send the data to any other application so as the setup which i have made was a successful one so i've made sure that whenever i'm going to receive a new form submission then automatically the form response will get captured in pably connect so if you like this video don't forget to like share and subscribe and make sure to follow for more not just these applications you can integrate a lot more applications and create amazing automations by using pably connect so you can reach us at support@pably.com if you have any queries you can write us to https.forum.pably.com and for pricing related issues you can visit this link so you can create a lot more automations by using pably connect and don't forget to share these videos with your friends colleagues subscribe to our channel for more